Hello, I am Richard and I am the Principal Investigator in the Hopkinson Group. So in this short talk I'd like to introduce you to our group's research. So our group was founded at the end of 2017 and is affiliated to both the School of Chemistry at the University of Leicester and also the Leicester Institute of Structural and Chemical Biology. Our main home is the Chemical Biology Lab in the Henry Welcome Building, which is what these pictures show here. Although we also have access to the lab space in the School of Chemistry's George Porter building as well. So since 2017 our group has grown in size and we now consist of myself, one postdoctoral research assistant or PDRA and two PhD students who are in their first and second years respectively. We also accept fourth year MChem and natural sciences students during term time and have also supervised summer MSc projects uh, this and last year and also visiting undergraduate students in the summer as well. Uh, from next academic year, we will also have two more PhD students starting their projects with us. So all of our current projects focus on our favourite molecule, which is called methanol, or more commonly called formaldehyde. Um, we are primarily interested in formaldehyde because it affects human health. However, how it does this is really not that well understood. So our research goal generally is to determine how formaldehyde regulates human biology at the molecular level and ultimately we would like to be able to use this information to manipulate it in human health. So at high concentrations formaldehyde is toxic to humans so acute exposure, so that's exposure to large amounts, uh, can lead to conditions such as rash, breathing difficulties, nausea and in severe cases coma. Longer term chronic exposure, so to lower levels over longer periods, has been linked to increased incidence of some cancers, while other diseases are also likely to be induced. So as I said before, how formaldehyde causes these conditions sorry, is really unknown. It is therefore important that we understand these underlying mechanisms, so that we can prevent disease or treat them more effectively in the future. So a key feature of formaldehyde is its high chemical reactivity, and this has resulted in it being used in a number of industrial processes. So consequently, it is a common environmental pollutant. So other sources of formaldehyde from our environment also include things like food, cosmetic products, where it's often used um, in derivatized forms. Um, it's also present in household products and also in cigarette smoke as well. However, and this is where it gets really interesting, formaldehyde is not just a pollutant, we're also producing it inside us all the time. There are many biochemical pathways that produce formaldehyde in cells. So these include the action of things like nucleic acid and protein demethylase enzymes, which is what is shown here. So these reactions are going on in our cells routinely during uh, our normal daily lives. Um, it can also be produced through drug metabolizing enzymes, as shown here during the conversion of codeine to morphine. And there are also many others as well. So therefore, cells are either exposed to or are producing potentially toxic formaldehyde all the time. However, we are not always ill. So this means there must be ways by which cells can cope with this formaldehyde exposure. Given that formaldehyde is highly reactive as well, it also seems surprising that we have evolved to produce it in the first place. Um, what we think might be the case here is that this reactivity might be being used in healthy biological processes. However, we, there's no real evidence to support this at the moment. So overall, we are exposed to formaldehyde from many sources, and if unchecked, this can lead to toxicity and disease. However, its high reactivity and prevalence in cells might suggest important healthy functions as well. So what we want to do is we want to understand all of these functions, and ultimately we want to use this insight to improve human health. So in the last slide, I just want to show some of the areas we're working at the moment. So at the moment, our research has three main focuses. Firstly, we are working to develop chemical tools that allow us to change cellular formaldehyde concentrations. So to support these, we're also developing spectroscopic methods um, to quantify formaldehyde in cells. So collectively, these tools, this toolkit, 
will make it possible for us to measure the effects of formaldehyde in a controlled manner. So we'll be able to change the amount of formaldehyde in a cell, we'll be able to quantify that change, and we'll be able to measure what effects that change has on the cell. Secondly, we are profiling how formaldehyde reacts with biological molecules. So if we can understand how formaldehyde reacts with these molecules, things like nucleic acids, proteins, etc., and we can predict what the products might be, we can then use this information to better understand what reactions it's doing in cells. Okay? So ultimately, we want to use this insight from our in vitro studies and our detection methods that we've developed to then find these biologically relevant reactions happening in cells and then link them to function. Thirdly, we are conducting experiments to better understand formaldehyde metabolism. So for cells to tolerate formaldehyde, they must have ways of metabolizing it into less harmful molecules to remove it from the cells effectively. So problems with these pathways would lead to abnormally high formaldehyde levels and this would most likely induce disease. So what we're trying to do is understand to profile the activity of these formaldehyde metabolizing pathways and the enzymes involved in them and we hope to use this information to better understand the flux of formaldehyde in cells, so the mechanisms by which it's removed and then ultimately to develop treatments based around that insight uh, for metabolic disorders and for formaldehyde toxicity. So that's all I wanted to say today. Um, hopefully that was a quick overview of our, of our research. So thank you for watching this video and I hope it gave you a taste of uh, formaldehyde research going on in our group. If you would like any more information on our research or the group in general, please visit our website below. Thank you.